So in 2014 we were successfully re-accredited where we took advantage and we changed the ethos of how we deliver pharmacy education here. And the biggest changes to that were that we were going to use a lot more integration, so we teach a lot more of the subjects together, and to predominantly use team-based learning across the first, second, a little bit in the third year, and we phase it out into the fourth year. The onus is very much on the student to learn, and our job as an academic is much more focused on teasing out and developing their understanding of that topic. So team-based learning is a very formal way of teaching, it has several stages. The first stage is to do a contextualisation lecture and then we launch a study pack and the students go away and do some self-directed learning. After that they then come back to us and we do a series of assessments. The first is an individual readiness assurance test. After that test they then repeat that in their teams which is really great to watch as a facilitator because that's where we see some real learning taking place. There's a huge amount of competition not just within their teams to get the answers right and when they've done their individual tests you can see them when you put them into teams, they're comparing who got what and that's the point of the teamwork element is for them to build on that. And people who got it wrong, they talk within their teams and they sort of teach themselves the answers based on what we've taught them. One of the main skills that pharmacy students require is communication. So by doing team-based learning, it's definitely built on my communication from first year. Students are either learning from each other or you have other students teaching other students and really, really helping explain that to another student is actually formalising their learning a lot more as well. There's people who are really good at maths, really good at chemistry, good at biology, good at clinical knowledge. So the fact that you get that kind of team mix helps you learn. So with the new MPharm course having a real emphasis on team-based learning, we really needed a space to support that. So we're very pleased to say we've got a new quarter of a million pound facility which includes team spaces to allow us to teach very effectively using team-based learning. And we also have this space that we're sat in at the moment which is the practice suite which allows us to really focus on the practice elements of the course and supporting the students through the clinical aspects they need to know. I really do appreciate their investment in pharmacy students because well, it has been really helpful. The fact that we have a TBL room, like a room that's just assigned for TBL. I far enjoy teaching using team-based learning much, much more than I do using the other types of lecturing and workshop approaches, and I learn from it as well. The reason I do this, I get a huge amount of satisfaction from imparting knowledge, giving the students some information, and letting them do something they couldn't do before. And I think the new course and pharmacy in particular with team-based learning and the other types of learning that we have here, practical classes and so forth, enables me to do that. Teaching using team-based learning is, a, is great fun. We get to know the students much better and get to integrate them far more than I ever do on my other courses. And having that interaction and being able to support them uh, a bit more individually than I'm able to on my lecture-based courses is quite a privilege.